guys, it's Haymaker, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to open up your ports. What does that do? That lets you do this shit that for some reason somebody decided it was a fucking good idea not to fucking let you do this shit and fucking be able to launch your shit from fucking multiplayer servers without fucking having to open up your ports. So, basically, it's going to let you go to multiplayer, press new, press OK, and then hopefully do this and then crash your game <laughs> never mind <laughs> okay so it turns out this is a bonus video this is also going to teach you how to be able to fuck you. oops okay there we go that's great alright this is also going to teach you how to be able to uh... fix that error which uh... crashes your game the weather effects so basically, the first thing you're gonna have to do is open up your MP missions. Blah blah. blah. Hang on, I gotta fucking find this shit. Go to your Steam Apps folder for Arma 3, and basically to do that, you're gonna go to Computer, Operating System, Program Files x86, and go to your Steam folder. You're going to go to your Steam Apps folder, and go to Common, and then Arma 3, and then find your MP missions and then delete all this shit now first things first I'd make sure that you didn't have anything in there that you really needed I didn't because when I edit my missions I edit it in the multiplayer editor and basically that just lets me it, it'll let me play my missions multiplayer you know without it being packed into a PBL because for some reason this error really only happens when it's packed into a PBL Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up your control panel and then you're going to have to go to System and Security and Windows Firewall. After that, you can click on Advanced Settings. You need to open, use your administrator password and then it'll bring up this interface. You're going to click on Inbound Rules. You're going to want to go to uh, New Rule, Custom, and then you can go through keep it on all programs protocol type is going to be ICMP v4 any IP address any IP address allow the connection domain private public arma3 and local host Essentially what's going on here is it's opening up all ports available for Arma 3. I don't know if your your router is UPnP enabled. Basically what that does is it manually opens the ports up through your router. If not, there's an extra step that you have to do in order to open up those ports on your router. So here we can click play, go to multiplayer, going to create a server, going to click internet, and UPnP. Now make sure that little box is checked in this is what's going to open up the ports uh, through your router and it should say trying to set up world forwarding after that if it lets you in without any error or anything like that that means you're in that means your friends should be able to join your server that means have fun that means play missions if it says it failed that means nobody's going to be able to join you so you have to do an extra you have to open up the ports that are on your router to open up the ports on your router, you're going to have to input your IP address right here in your browser. You're in your browser. <laughs> in your browser. Yeah, in your, in your browser. Google what's my IP address. And then it'll look it up for you. Your IP address. Whatever that may be. Numbers, 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 numbers. And then, um, and then that's going to bring you to your router interface and then you're gonna want to open up the ports that are in the description uh... it might take you a second to figure out i can't make a tutorial explaining how because for different companies and different routers it's a different process but yeah i will be posting information down below in the description that might help you uh... complete this task and the final problem that people run into when trying to localhost is that they have a third party firewall that are blocking the ports 
and in order to fix this you have to open the interface to your third party firewall which is often included in antiviruses by the way so for example I use McAfee either allow a allow Arma 3 through the ports or you can manually set specific ports or you could just turn off your firewall while while using Arma 3 to localhost all of them are viable options I know a lot of other videos wanted you to install some stuff that would help you do that that's just not smart to install anything that's gonna screw with your ports or screw with uh, your router so uh, yeah remember if you liked to subscribe anything specific to be done be sure to put something down below in the comment section and I'll try to help you out so thanks for watching and have a good evening yes an evening goodbye love you